What if Yorkshire were its own nation? with its own league structure, its own national teams. So have the national teams managed to actually do anything? So the senior squad in the most recent Euros lost to England. They went out to goals from Coutinho and Neymar. Not a great Euros in 2024 for Yorkshire. They beat Iceland, then got beaten by Holland and Germany. Somehow still managed to get through, only to get absolutely smashed to pieces by Italy. And probably the biggest failure then, going out in the... Uh, in the second round of the World Cup in 2022 to Jamaica. And bookending this entire thing then with quarter-final defeats to England after England had 10 men from 7 minutes. So the, York, the Yorkshire national team, I think we have to say, has been a bit of a failure. Hello there, internet people. I am Tom from the Wasted Talent YouTube channel and today is the first episode of the Yorkshire National Team Manager Football Manager Series. And we'll start right here on James Milner's profile. And the reason is because of these mental. Look at them. Look how good he is. So the first thing I'm gonna do, the first thing I have to do, on the, on the day that the save loads in, I'm gonna try and get him to reconsider his international retirement. My mouse is being a bit funny with me, but <laughs> we're gonna be able to get there in the end. Come on, James, please. Please, James, I, I need you in this squad. I feel like, see, see, it's the very first thing that I've done. Yes, <laughs> he is going to return to international football. So that's job number one done. That's the first thing I want to do, the very first thing. He's in the national pool. I don't need to do it manually. Look at all the positions he can play. Look at how good he is. He's going to be the captain. He's going to be the man to lead this Yorkshire team. Now, I'm going to talk about this series. I'm going to talk now like... You have already watched the previous video on this channel, which was the Yorkshire as a nation experiment. This is that database uh, with a few changes made based on some of the things that happened in that 10 year experiment. So if you haven't already watched that video, go and watch that first. In the, in the experiment video, they started as world number one because I made an error. They are now 17th, which is much more uh, realistic. Just ahead of Holland, just behind Mexico, a nice little pocket there. Um, ahead of Holland might seem a bit grandiose, but Holland, you have to remember, have been failing to qualify for tournaments. They've been really poor, um, really hot and cold lately. So yeah, I think that's a decent spot for us to start in. And the squad is empty because anyone who's managed as an international manager might do this the same as me. I leave the squad completely empty and then wait for the deadline day and then go into the national pool and pick the best team based on, um, mainly based on form as well as ability. So uh, let's skip ahead to doing that. And on the day that we announce our first squad, Vardy's decided to end his international career. Oh, and he's not coming back. That's that that's a that's a shot. I will I will I will say it. That is a, a, a big a bit of a shot to our chances. And on my birthday as well. How could you, Jamie? That's so mean of you. But we do have to decide the squad. Uh thankfully for people who want to put it on YouTube like me, um international games tend to come in pairs. So today's episode will be the friendly uh for Yorkshire's first ever game against Iceland and then the uh, the Nations League match against Austria away. So the way I always do it, I don't know if you, are, you guys do it differently or what, but I always just filter by positions and then pick based on the formation that I want to play. And I want to play kind of a 4-3-3 with a holding man. So we're going to pick with that in mind. So first of all, we have to pick keepers. Uh, we'll sort by ability, but we'll look at form. So Smithies is the best on ability, but this season he's had a six. He's made one appearance in the Premier League for Cardiff and had a bit of a shocker. Joel Wildsmith's got a decent bit of potential. Ah, the name fix must have happened again because it's uh, the Yorkshire Elite League on here. It's called the Danske Bank Premiership. Joel Wildsmith has all the potential, but hasn't played a competitive game. Cameron Dawson's come off the bench for Wednesday a couple of times and had a seven when he has. So he could go in. Let's look at for any, someone who's actually been playing well. Do we have to go as far as far down as Dewhurst, who's in the ambition division? So that's that. He's not going to be good enough. Oh dear, it's slim pickings for goalkeepers, isn't it? I think we're gonna we might have to go with Smithies, even though he's had a poor year, just because there isn't really anyone better. Bring Wildsmith in for his potential. Hmm, I'm gonna put Stockdale in for this first squad. Oh, that I hope that's the the harsh the hardest call I have to make. If not, then. I'm in a bit of trouble. Uh, let's go to defenders then. Let's uh, start start off with left backs. Should be fairly easy because so long as Danny Rose and Charlie Taylor are both playing, 
and fit, then I think we're good. Danny Rose is having a great year. Charlie Taylor's having a pretty good year. James Husband's having a good year in League One with Fleetwood. But no, it's these two, isn't it? The first choice right back's very easy. Kyle Walker's in. Who joins him though? So Mason Holgate is more of a centre back when you choose when I'm gonna be choosing. He might well make his way in. Kyle Norton's having a good year. James Breen, not so much. Louis Coyle's having a very good year in League One with Fleetwood. I think I'm gonna go with Norton though. Well look how easy the centre backs is. The top four on ability are all having very good seasons. So yeah, easy as you like. Lewis Cook's having a poor year, but with that level of potential, I do want him in the squad. Um, same sort of thing goes for Ben Godfrey, uh, but I think it's gonna be Calvin Phillips that's gonna start in the deeper role in midfield. Fabian Delft's had a terrible year so far for Manchester City. Really bad. But again, for his, for his experience level, he's going to have to come in. Now, where is James Milner? He says he's in the national pool, but he's just not appearing on the search results. Well, you're in the squad, James. I don't know what's happening then. He's there now. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not even going to pretend to know. Right, so Fabian Delph. James Milner's in. Delph. Shackleton has all the potential, but he's having a, a pretty poor year for Leeds. We'll go with Mowat for now. And now we need a couple of wingers. So Jack Clark is an absolute definitely in um tavernier not having an awful year but not a great one either who is it that wants him arsenal and tottenham so yeah that says a little bit about him he's in uh, calvert lewin will be one of the strikers daniel james from swansea maybe soon to be from uh, manchester united he's definitely in and speaking of manchester united how's mason greenwood hasn't played for the senior squad this year but has he been playing for their junior teams not really so probably not going to go with him just yet. I'm just going to pick these three, I think. In fact, I'll chuck Calvert Lewin in as part of this set. But he'll be made, he'll, he's a striker option for me more than a winger option. So apparently I can't have Daniel James because he's been confirmed for the under 21s. Maybe I need to start doing these these selections earlier. Can I have him in fact untick uh, Tavernier? Because I would rather have Daniel James to be honest. No. Can I have Tav? No. Well, that leaves me really light for wingers then. Might have to not play wingers. Oh, I should have done this earlier. I shouldn't have been left this for the very end. And so for the same reason, I can't have Erling Haaland either, uh, which is a shame again. Uh, so I think we'll go, I think we'll go with Jack Marriott, Ollie McBurnley, and oh, who can, who can play? I think Josh Windass, purely because he can play anywhere in the attacking areas. He's got poor morale, he's not having a good season, but he's he's a versatile attacking body. This is not the squad I want, and I need to do the next squad selection early. I have learned a lesson today. And immediately Fabian Delph is injured. So, <laughs> oh man. So this will be the team then, for the first game, the friendly at home against Iceland. Oh, we're ready, Smithies. Walker and Rose as automatic wingbacks. Uh, Stones and Maguire as ball playing centre backs. They're clearly the best part of our team <laughs> is right here. Uh, we've got Godfrey as the holding man, defensive midfielder. Cook as an advanced playmaker. Milner going box to box. Calvert Lewin on the left. I don't really have a natural left winger in the team, so Calvert Lewin's going to have to do the job. Um, Clark on the right and Marriott up front as a pressing forward, which isn't his favourite role, but one that does suit him and that hopefully he'll do well for us today. And I'm hoping to start with a big win. Come on. So is their team then, Hal Forsen in goal, um, don't recognise these guys, uh, Sigurdsson at centre back I, I somewhat recognise, Bjarnason and Gunnarsson as the holding midfielders, we know all about them, Gilfie Sigurdsson as the cam, Good Munson on the right, uh, Finn Bogson up top, I don't recognise this guy, he looks young though, Arno Sigurdsson, we'll, have, we'll keep an eye out for him, but hopefully our team will be too strong for theirs, let's see. So I've set the team up to dominate the ball and so far that's working, but there hasn't been a highlight yet, come on. And here's Gilfie, can he hurt his Gunnison? I'll need to look at that name again before I can pronounce it. Here's, here's Milner. Why for Calvert Lewin? What can he do? He can cut inside, he can shoot, he can have a shot well saved. Goal kick hoofed long. Can Rose win it? Yes, he can. He can nod it down to Calvert Lewin. And then he's going to look to overlap. Oh, he's brought down there, Calvert Lewin, by number six. Oh, it's Gunnison. Of course it is with a tackle like that. <laughs> Who else would it be? And it's a straight red. Wow. Straight red card, so they're down to 10 men. We're playing possession anyway. So let's just keep that up. Let's just keep dominating and then hit the bar from a deflected shot from Danny Rose. Hopefully we'll, the goal will come soon and I can uh, ease my nerves a little. 
So as we come up towards half time, there's going to be a highlight actually. I was about to say, talk about it being half time. There's a couple minutes left and something might well happen here. Here's Clark on the right hand side, the young winger. Finds Milner in acres of space. Can he get a shot away? He can and he can score. 1-0 to Yorkshire. James Milner, the captain who's come out of international retirement to join this Yorkshire squad for its first ever game. And he scored its first ever goal. And I can't think of anyone better. His face opened this video. And he scored the first goal from outside the box with his left foot. Has James Milner ever done that for real? I'm not so sure that he has. But he's done it for me. And I love him. Well, what I was about to say before it became half time is that we've been, we've been utterly dominant in that half without scoring. And now that we have scored, it feels like a very good half. Uh, they're down to 10 men, so I think this game's going to be quite easy now. Uh, Kyle Walker's looking complacent and having a 6.3. So get off the pitch, son. Kyle Norton can come in. Uh, your former Sheffield United buddy. Calvert-Lewin and Jack Marriott. Uh, both not doing too well. So I'm actually going to put Calvert-Lewin up top. And I'm going to take Marriott off. For, I don't have a left winger. But Josh Windass can sort of do it. And he needs match fitness anyway. So onto the pitch you go. Oh, they nearly scored there. This is the highlight from kickoff. That's why I wasn't commentating on it. Because highlights from kickoff, you know. When, if you play enough football manager, you know that nothing really happens from them. But that very nearly did a great save from Smithies. And Milner out the other end. Lightning start to the second half. One that caught me unawares. We're an hour in and the highlight's about to start for Iceland. But with the uh, competitive match just around the corner. I am hovering over make sub. I don't know what this highlight's going to be. In fact, it doesn't really matter what it's going to be. I'm going to uh, rotate off some of the players that I definitely want to have who are looking a little leggy. And the highlight looks like it's going to be their chance. Finger Borsen over the bar. Deflected over the bar. So it's going to be a corner for them. Back post. Magnussen heads. Smithies saves again. It's... They, oh, great save again from Smithies. He, I, I doubted him. He's had a poor season at club level. But he's doing really well for me. And honestly, with, without him, we'd probably be behind by now. They've come out with 10 men in the second half. Absolutely firing at us. We need to... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the old trick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demand more. Immediately after our demand more, we have a corner. Maguire heads it across goal. And somehow Stones have just looped it into the goalkeeper's arms rather than tapping it into the empty net. I'll take him off. <laughs> right now. Here we are then, just towards the end of the game. Cal Norton's going to put a cross in. It's going to get headed out to Milner. Can he get a second goal? Windass. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper. Uh, it's been a, an underwhelming first game, if I'm honest. But it's a solid win. Um... Not the best performance, but we've kept the ball very well. We've had we've had over two thirds of the possession, and all right, they've had ten men for a long time, but still, we've we've well, we, don't, we have just under two thirds of possession now. But uh, yeah, it, it's solid enough for a first ever game for this group of players. We go into the first competitive game next, away from home. Was it Austria? That's going to be a much tougher game, and we'll have to play much better than we've played today in order to do to do well in that one. But hopefully, hopefully. We will. <laughs> and we might not even win this one. Oh, So there we have it. 1-0 in the first game. James Milner with the first goal, which is a great thing. I, I love that James Milner scored the first goal. Just going to tell him it was a good win. Not going to not gonna lambast him for a subpar performance. Because in a few days you have a big game and I want the morale to be high. So here we are then. Yorkshire men's national team's first ever competitive game. We're going to go with the same lineup because everyone's reasonably fit. Um, there were a couple of poor performers, Cal Calvert-Lewin, Marriott, uh, particularly Kyle Walker. But I'm hoping that in a competitive setting, they'll kick in and we can beat Austria here. We can do this. We, we can get promoted into the level two of this competition straight away. The, the main objective, though, really, is to not get relegated down to the bottom tier. We want to stay in this third one or get promoted if we can. They're playing a flat 4-4-2. Arnautovic up top. Who else do I recognise? Bon Gartling is an excellent midfielder. Sabitz is a very good, tricky... He was more... I, I'd play him up here, but... He's playing out there, so that's actually a good thing for us, probably, that he's wide. Obviously, David Alaba is very dangerous. Other than that, I don't recognise too many Pradle. Um I'm not too worried about any of these, to be honest. I think I think this team is good enough to beat that one. Let's just say that. Two minutes in, and Austria have a throw. Baumgartlinger has a bit of space. Grilich. Baumgartlinger. We're, we're, we're pressing in, in twos and threes, which is great to see. And forcing the long pass, which we then pick up. Excellent. Excellent. Calvert-Lewin's coming inside. Where's he going to go with it, though? He needs to pass. Good. Walker. Clark, go ahead of him. They can't hear me, but I talk to him anyway. Godfrey. <laughs> Cook. Play it. 
yeah, good. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm going to keep talking to him. I know they can't hear me, but it's good. It just makes me feel like I'm really here. Walker put good ball in. Oh, Milner was there. Is he there again? Cavalt Lewin is. Oh, good though. That's good. That's the right kind of pressing. That's the right kind of swift attacking that I'm looking for. Excellent. We're not dominating the ball, but we're away from home. So, you know, it's unlikely to. But that's a decent start. 15 minutes in, we're probably on top. We win it back. We have Godfrey. Excellent work, mate. Cook, can you find a pass? Someone move. See, that's what happens when they don't move enough, when it, it just breaks down a little too much. Maybe we need to put the tempo up just a touch. We'll see how this goes, though. Arnautovic is in and puts it wide. <laughs> that's a bit of a let off. I am going to just move the tempo up just a touch. Godfrey, Cook, what can we do from this? Move. The amount of times I say that word when I'm watching my teams play. <laughs> Cook, Walker, come on. That's not good enough, Kyle. You're meant to be one of the best players on the pitch right now, and you're not showing it. Oh, now is in, in again, and he's put it wide again. I don't know how many more of those we'll get away with. Half time, and I'm not going to change any personnel, but I am going to change quite a bit about how we're playing. Now, I don't think I'm actually going to change any of the player roles, other than maybe this one. I'm thinking I'm going to set him to be more of an anchor man. Sit deeper, don't really join in with the attacking at all. We're not going to play positive, we're going to play balanced. We're going to flick both of these up and we're not going to work the ball into the box anymore. And I'm going to drop the lines back a bit because they have been finding space behind us. So that's how we're going to play for now. Godfrey's deeper. Like, so Cook, you don't need to be deep because Godfrey's deep. Move forwards. Okay, there we go. That's a good ball. Cavett Lewin, play to Rose. Yeah. Godfrey, this is good play. Cook's so got a bit of space now. Oh, great turn and shot off the post and straight into the goalkeeper's arms. And now here they come. No, they don't. Clark, yes, run at them. Marriott, make a run for him. It's kind of gone into a bit of a corner. Kyle Walker though, Cook, Marriott. Might change Marriott's role actually just to advance forward, get him further forward, make him, get him making runs behind. Milner. Calvert Lewin. <gasps> oh, what a finish. Let's see that in 3D. That flew in. I know I've got it like a couple of notches above real time speed, but that that went like an absolute rocket. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> Dominic Calvert Lewin, you absolute little beauty. And it's a corner. Headed down. Oh, that's going to be offside, surely. Yeah. <laughs> Just by the three yards. Look, he goes and stands on the post, and they don't have a man on the post. So, yeah, that's. Not your smartest moment there, John Stones, but yeah, second half, the, the changing tactics work. Maybe this maybe this should be how we play against uh, away from home against good teams. We're forward again, Walker down the right. Cross in, not quite. Clark, have a go on your left. Oh, oh. The game jumped there because they made some substitutions and I thought it was in for a fleeting moment. Despite taking it off all the slow possession stuff, we're still dominating the ball in the second half. But they could come forward here. Sabitzer, Anatovic, Bergstaller. That's, do that all day, mate. I'm fine with you having those kind of shots. So yeah, 63% possession, 15 shots to their six. We've, we've been far the better side. After a quite even first half, we've absolutely stonked them in the second half. So this then is how we're going to play. Certainly away from home. 75 minutes gone. Danny Rose down the left-hand side. Calvert-Lewin, Godfrey. Great pass. Kyle Walker with space. Puts it in. Clark. Yes, it's 2-0. <laughs> yes. Jack Clark, the young lad from Leeds. And with that, before we watch the replay, we're going to make some subs. But what an excellent moment for Jack Clark. First international goal. We've got three men in the box. That's what the difference is in this, in this one. So we're pressuring them. and He picks it up. Left foot shot. Brilliant finish. Jack Clark for Yorkshire national football team. <laughs> yes. Great header from Maguire, Milner. Charlie Taylor fresh on the pitch. Milner in a bit of space. That they're, they're, they're opening up here. Here's Marriott for three. Great save, Stankovic. They've gone to 3-4-3 three, three now. They're, they're properly going for it. Arnautovic has had a 6.0, I've just noticed. And with just a few minutes to go, it's still us on the attack. Can we get a third? Taylor, Godfrey. Not like that we won't, but that is recycled well. Can Phillips see behind him? Turn around, Calvin. 
There's the ball. It's Jack Clark for a second. Oh, he's missed it. He was in acres of space for so long. That's what happens when you play three at the back against an attacking three, I guess. Great pass from Mauer. Oh, it's not. Clark hasn't got to it. Oh, Clark's knackered, isn't he? Oh, I've got a sub left. I forgot I had a sub left. Um, who can come on? Who didn't get on in the last game? Uh, Goldson didn't, did he? You can have a go then, mate. Off, on you go. If it, if there's time for it to happen, which there probably isn't. Unless that's a foul. No, it's not. Go out of play. Go out for a throw. Oh, no. Are they going to score? No. Well done, Smithies. <laughs> and that's the game. 2-0. What a great performance. The performance against Iceland was pretty poor, if we're honest, but that performance away against Austria, particularly in the second half, was excellent. Great start to the Yorkshire national team save. I'm buzzing. I'm, I want to record more of this right now, and you know what? I just might. So if you liked this video, hit like down below, hit subscribe. I've been Tom from... Um, I nearly, <laughs> you know what I nearly said then? I nearly said I'm Tom from Working the Space. That that's That's not true. That's not even what it's called. It's called Work the Space. Hi, Jack. Um, I'm Tom from Wasted Talent. That's who I am. <laughs> if you want to see more of the Yorkshire National Team series, hit subscribe and I'll be back with more. Until then, see ya.